Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Mo the RV and Me. I have traveled to western Wisconsin, southwestern Wisconsin more specifically, to a, another campground. You can see I'm out here in the woods. I am at Yellowstone State Park, which is part of the vast park system here in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, Yellowstone for me has a bit of a special place in my personal history. Uh, in 2010, this day, six years ago, a major change occurred in my life and Yellowstone was one of the last places I visited before that change occurred. Um, got Mole parked here up in the woods. I'm at site number 80, which is a non-electric site, so I am battery camping again and dry camping on the water tank. Uh, the last time I was out camping, power was an issue every time you go out. I mean, you can plug in your things at the bath houses, but also if you want to, I have my uh, inverter going right now, plugged into the house battery, stretched up in the window, and then you can see my telephone right there on the table. The evening is coming. I am going to be making dinner here pretty soon and get some rest for tonight because tomorrow is going to be a big day. But before I do that, uh, I'll make a little dinner and then I'll take a little walk around the park a little bit and show you where I'm at. All right, so we're starting to get ready to make dinner here. And you wonder to yourself, what does Brian eat for dinner while he's out at camp? Well, tonight's specialty is hamburgers. Uh, I went over to the local grocery store in this part of the country, the Piggly Wiggly. Got 90-10 uh, ground beef. Nice sweet onion, tomato, and I don't usually buy a whole head of a lettuce because it's just me and it usually goes bad before I finish it. So I buy one of these every once in a while, the Fresh Express, and I like romaine lettuce. So one thing you want to think about when you're dry camping and that is keeping things to a minimum and water usage is a huge uh, thing to keep in minimum. So what I do is I use paper plates for everything. As you can see, everything's sitting on paper plates. I'm going to do my prep work with paper plates. And I'm going to use disposable uh, flatware, which uh, a, a knife like this will cut right through the tomato and the onion just fine. Now, I know some people who are environmentally conscious, yes, you know, using something like this is, is not very good. Um, I don't usually throw these away right away. I usually do clean them off and use them at least two or three times. Um, the thing is, because it's disposable, the nice part about it is it's small and it's easy to wash. I mean, it's, it's not a big thing. And if it gets to a point where, like, if I'm cutting in the meat and I know that disinfecting is an issue, uh, then I will throw it away. So let's get these on the uh, stove and let's start making dinner. Awesome. We'll let that heat up and we'll throw the burgers on. <clears throat> All right, I'll spare you my eating on camera, but I'll show you what I got. This is how it all goes down. Mayo on both buns, lettuce on both buns, uh, pickle, uh, uh, tomato, a little onion, over on the cheesy side and then more uh, and then the meat the cheese onion put the whole thing together and that's how you make a hamburger that makes me happy <laughs> that I like to top it off I have picked up some spiral salad here with uh, some veggies and some black olives so and of course, milk with ice in it. I like my milk nice and ice cold. So let me uh, eat dinner and then I'll do some cleanup afterwards. Uh, and maybe I'll just kind of give you an idea, again, along the theme of keeping things minimal, power, water, gas, uh, you know, propane and all that. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'll show you the cleanup after. Wisconsin. Although, Wisconsin didn't officially welcome. 
So yeah, you can see I got the video going of uh, Nomadic Fanatic. He has made it into Wisconsin. Welcome to Wisconsin, Nomadic Fanatic, Eric Jacobs. So uh, I got that playing in the background. Hope you can hear me. Uh, going all the theme of again, like I was mentioning, is uh, minimalism. And In, instead of just turning on the hot water heater to do dishes, I mean, I can turn on the hot water heater, take a shower, and things. But to just kind of keep things at a minimum, what I'm just going to do is just heat a pot of water. And then I am going to turn on the pump. And I'm going to put a little dish water, wash water in the sink. And when that water heats up, I'll add to it. And I will do the dishes that way. And again, you don't need a lot of water to do the dishes. I only got a little bit. I have the pot or the pan to clean, which I'll clean last because that'll be the greasy part. And then everything will be good. If you guys notice, I use Dawn non-concentrate. And the reason I use that is because it is said to be biodegradable. I may be wrong if you guys want to comment comment on that but yeah let's uh get the dishes done i'll show you in a minute see, i got I'm just done. a little bit of water in there and you can see <laughs> yeah the rv's leaning a little bit uh this spot's a little unlevel but that's all right we can live with it so yeah it just i keep it real simple keep it real low not a lot of water gotta wash the spatula and i'll reuse those the fork and knife i was using to eat my dinner with and then I'll switch them over, turn on the water, give it a quick rinse. And you can see I got it on real low, just enough to just rinse off the soap. And that's it. So what I'll do now is that's basically the dishes and then I'll have to wash the pot or the pan. And then I'll set them over here to dry. All right, let me finish dishes up and then uh, we'll go out for a walk. All right, I'm at the amphitheater here, the natural bowl. And you guys seen these in past videos, bat boxes. And if you look closely, I'll zoom in. The sign of the bat. <laughs> yeah, they got several of them up there. I guess this park is really well known for having bats around and keeping the bugs to a minimum. Since I've been outside now for about a half an hour, I haven't had one bug bother me. Uh, where I'm at here is kind of like the central point of the camping area of the park. It's like a three points area. They got pit toilets, and like I said, the off to that side is the amphitheater, the pit toilets, and then they got looks like they got a Boy Scout troop going today. So I am going to head around and down this big hill here, down to the lake. It's about a quarter mile walk, so I'll spare you the uh, walking footage and we'll just get down there and I'll pick up from there. Oh wait. I am filming it. <laughs> All right, we'll see you down by the lake. So tomorrow what I'll do is I'll take the RV down because it's probably a good mile. I could hike it, but I think I'll just take the RV down there tomorrow because there's a really good ice cream shop up the road that direction. So I'm gonna probably go get, to, get myself a nice ice cream tomorrow. All right, so I think uh, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit, enjoy the water, and then go up to the RV and relax for the evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Good morning, guys. Second day out here at Yellowstone Lake. I'm just going to turn the camera around and take a look at that. Wow. It is about nine o'clock in the morning not a breeze in the sky the water is dead still absolutely beautiful i'm standing down by the waterfront and 
up that way is where I came from. I'm going to go over by the dam and have you guys get a look at that. And then I'm going to adventure out. So that looks just like a regular old hill in front of me. But what it is is a dam. And I won't say any damn jokes about a dam. But damn, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Best part about having a Class C RV is you can see. I fit in the parking spot really nicely. Just make sure you back in and the tail end can hang over the bump and you're in. Fits perfect. Let's go over and take a look at the overflow here. That's pretty cool. Down the river. All right, I'm gonna climb up the steps and get a look up top. Okay, so here we are at the other end of the flow overflow. Looking down. I don't know how tall high up we're at. If I were to guess, I'd say uh, 30 feet, 40 feet. It's pretty high up. If you look across the way there, the Yellowstone Rock, all the sandstone, hence the word and the name of the lake, Yellowstone Lake. There's a little hop pin jump and climbing path down the water. I don't think I'll go down there though. So it looks like it's an earthen dam, earthen rubble dam. Pretty solid. There's Mo down there in the distance below me. Damn. Cool. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching Mo the RV and me. Uh, mostly last night, kind of doing my thing, showing you a really great camping spot. We're, uh, Mo and I are going from here, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try out a couple boondocking spots I think next week. Let's see how it goes depending on how things plan out. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get out and film for my Wisconsin a little bit more today. 
I want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button below. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Hey guys. Um, well, the challenges of RV life. Um, <laughs> hair is a little wind blown. Uh, let me show you what I got going. I was uh, busy driving. Heard some noise. And... Yeah, blew a tire. So, I got a tire to change. I'll check you guys later. See ya. Ugh.